stream. Um, I can go first if you want, and then we'll go clockwise around. That'll give uh, Wesley and Steven a chance to see, okay. quote unquote, how it done. <laughs> first move if we lose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody gets two a random items to start the game with. I want to dual wield hammers again, like the first zombie side I ever played. Ivy, you playing still? Where are you at? Me. She wants to lay down. What? She's not going to play? She's resting. But we're playing the game now. Okay. All right. So you want me to control your character or you want to you want to come back when it's... Ooh, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Well, yeah, ask yeah, how yeah, hard decisions. All right, we can kind of see everything with the I camera. We can see enough stuff. Here. All right. So, starting equipment for Ivy's character. She got double hammers. And starting equipment for Muriel, double short swords. That's what I'm talking about. I got a short sword and a mana blast. Mana blast is good. Got a short sword and a short bow. All right, Alex, you are in charge of distributing zombies, correct? Yep. All right. So, Muriel's going to start this thing off. Well, let's quit real quick. We are playing um, Zombicide, Black Plague, Wolfsburg expansion. Uh, full disclosure, this is the Kickstarter edition of the game. So, there's extra stuff. Um, also, I like modding games. So... Uh, Half, all, almost all of our characters are homemade characters. Okay. Uh, I'll link my website where those characters are if you want to download them for yourself and use them. It also includes links to the miniatures. This is my character. So real quick, we'll introduce everybody. I'm using uh, Muriel. She is not a Kickstarter exclusive. I think she's available in one of the hero, hero packs. Uh, eh, eh, there you go. She's pretty rad. Good character. The not miniature? not OP. We might need it in this, this one. Uh, my daughter Ivy is currently taking a break. She's not asleep though, but she's just taking a little break to rest up. She's That's playing nice. as Daenerys Stormborn, first of her name, etc., etc. And uh, she's a homemade character that is much loved. Uh, she starts with a dragon. It's pretty sweet. Alex, who are you playing as? I'm playing as Leany. Mm -hmm. And that is the Pathfinder oh, Iconic Druid Lini. And she and even starts with her Iconic uh, Jaguar. Oh, it's a Jaguar? I thought it was a tiger. It could be a tiger. <laughs> it's your imagination. It's your game. Alright, what do you got, buddy? Also, Daenerys has a dragon. William Fling is a believer. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she is a lovely lady from Kingdom Death, who may also be my D&D character in a weekly game. <laughs> What's his name? My weekly game of Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know. He's the Pathfinder guy. Ask him. Well, he's, he's sent, I think it's Centiel. Uh, he is technically a Magus. Yeah, so he's the iconic Magus from... Uh, nice. Alright, we're also playing in quest number two, because we don't need no intro baby quests. Uh, this advertises that it will only take us 90 minutes. Now we're only using five survivors instead of six, and everyone has to live. This also introduces towers and turrets or whatever, and we have to gather all of the um, icons on the game board Ivy's before we can go to the exit and escape. So this is going to be pretty rough. Um, because we wanted to die quickly so we could move on to other games, uh, we are also going to have the wolves and abominable wolves that come with the expansion, the alpha abominable wolf. Uh, that's a Wrath of Kings crossover that came out in the Kickstarter. And we've added the Skeletal Archers from the recent uh, Skeletal Archer expansion that hit retail. And a custom abomination, uh, the Abunbun Nation. I want to show them. The most deadly abomination in the world. Which is awesome. Oh, you yes. can barely see it. Um, There's the Abunbun A little Monty Python there for you. Mm. And uh, the Necromancer we'll be facing off against. We are not going crazy with the Necromancers. We have a single Necromancer, and it will be also, Grin, a Kickstarter-exclusive Joker. There are rules for the Abomination. Nation. It can, be only, it can only be killed by Dragonfire. Absolutely. And once it wounds you, you're dead. Yep, it kills you in one hit, no matter how many and health you have. that's why there's blood on it, because it eats you. <laughs> like a carrot. Yeah. 
I ain't scared. You should be I ain't Never scared. scared. Never scared. Is, is there? Oh, yeah. is, All right, I'm gonna be controlling Ivy's character until she rests up and comes back. Is so, there are carrots? She's added? still gaming while she rests. She's okay. Doing a game. Oh, she playing some Pokemon over there. Mm, something with cute fuzzy characters. What is that? Pokemon, Pokemon Shuffle. Pokemon. All right. So, um, strategy for the game: when you open a building, you spawn zombies in every room inside the building. So, opening buildings early, when you're still in blue, is a smart strategy. With that said, I'm going to barrel over here oh, and just kick like open this door and get things started. Wow. So, one action Why is to it move. Smart to open it when it's now I'm going to spend an action to roll dice. That's no. something we probably need to play the game with. <laughs> <laughs> and all the dice is put away. Does anybody need I dice don't. towers or things to roll into? I probably need dice towers. What are we rolling? All these sixes? Here are. We're gonna have, um, some dice towers? Many. Yeah, but it's all nice. these sixes. I have many D sixes. In that beautiful embroidered dice bag. I got the pair Where of the dice towers. Oh, they're tiny. This one. Yeah, but. And this one. I like the tiny ones that are super tiny. Huh? How many? I guess you want to share with her and we'll share. Sure. Alright. Here, Alex, you and I will use this one, they'll use that one. Okay. Lots of cool dice there. I want the tiny ones. The tiny ones roll the best. Because they are tiny. Very tiny. tiny. Mm -hmm. I like that. I want this one. These are my dice. Super blue. Very pretty. Oh, Alright, so one action to move. I'm going to spend one action to try to crack open this door. Short Sword says it opens a door on a four or higher. I am dual wielding short swords, but the rules state that I cannot dual wield a door open. So I still <laughs> only get one die to roll. Oh, the door did not open. I will use my last action to try to crack open that door. Man. Oh, I got a two. So she just furiously beats on the door and does not open it. More than likely alerting all of the zombies to her presence. Since I'm not uh, really attached to Daenerys, I'm going to move over. Her dragon series is going to fly over here with but her. But Ivy's attached to the new. For familiars, we're using the rules for dog companions from Modern Zombicide. So, Daenerys is going to attempt to bust open the door with her hammers. Here we go. Another two. Mm. Maybe I do need a bigger die. Mm. Here we go. All right. Yeah. She cracks open the door. She has no actions left, and she's standing on a spawn point. That's excitement. All right, the door opens. Two zombies are going to be spawned in there. This dice is horrible. The first room has nothing. All right. The second room contains one runner. That could be problematic. Zombie quartermaster, get us a runner. A runner. And it is now your turn, Lini. Runner. You need one runner? Mm-hmm. Put it on that red X. Keep in mind, runners get two activations, so that can run right up to her space. And if on you get the extra activation, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's another thing. Certain spawn cards give all of those types of monsters extra activations. So every single one on the board gets to go again. Mm. All right, Alex, what are you going to do on your turn? Also, keep in mind how dangerous the placement of that runner is because of the rules for line of sight inside buildings. We won't be able to shoot him because he's too far away. You'd have to go into the building to take a shot at him. Okay. Oh, if you're curious about any of your abilities, let me know. Uh, they are listed in the back of this here book. So, what about, what does low profile do? Low profile means you are targeted last on all ranged attacks, and you can't be hit with friendly fire. Wait, so does a bow open a door on a three or eye? The only items that have a uh, thing, so the short sword would be a four or Oh, right. So. Mm. Your starting ability, Zombie Link, allows you to take an immediate bonus action interrupt whenever we draw oh an extra activation Jeez. card for zombies. Okay, so if I open the door, one... Right, if we drew an extra activation card, you'd get to do one thing before... Go here. Didn't mess up. Try to open the door. 
Oh, no, no. It's more than one action. You get a full extra turn each time there's an extra activation card drawn. Nice. And you get to take that turn before any of the extra activated zombies go. I'm nice. going to try to bust open the door. So I have repulse. All right. Okay. Start. Oh, you start repulse. with repulse. Yeah. All right. We're supposed to go through this deck then and give you the repulse spell to start the game. All right. Go for it, Alex. Don't let us distract you. Nope. So one. All right. You gonna try again? Yeah. Nice, nice, you did it. All right, you want to draw two zombie cards for her? Zombie card. What is it? All right, the first room is Grin the Necromancer. Oh, God. So okay. grab Grin the Necromancer, and I will put a Necromancer spawn point out for him. Is this? Yep, that's him. Where? In this room? Uh, yep, right in your face. First. Now, Grin's special ability is he moves... Two spaces. Whenever he act, uh, whenever he activates, he can okay, move up to so two spaces instead of one. And, and worse, he creates a spawn immediately. So he appeared with three zombie wolves. Oh, sorry, two zombie wolves. Two zombie wolves. That's rough. That's real rough. Especially since you are out of actions and I am out of actions, <laughs> and wolves get to go three times. So the adventure might be over right now. Unless you two can come and help us out. Alright. And the, finally, the room next to him has nothing in it. Otherwise, it would have been a wolf abomination. An abomination that gets three actions. Yeah. Alright. So, Alex's turn is over. It is Wesley's turn. Wesley, if we do not... Mitigate these werewolves or these undead wolves. People are gonna die. They're gonna die hard. All right. So With vengeance. I'm gonna move. All right. One action to move. Right. Um. Shh. Me repulse is an encampment. Yes. So it could takes an action to use it, but you could repulse the wolves either into the space with you. Which would be super dangerous yeah. unless they got killed with melee weapons, which you have a melee weapon, right? Yeah, I have yeah. short sure. And you have a melee weapon, so it might be a good way to try to take them out. You want to try it? Because you could at least target the wolves specifically. So. Alright, yeah, I mean. Alright, yeah, All right. I'll do it. So using your magic, you repulse boof, all of them into the space with us. Risky move, because that's seven damage that's getting ready to drop on us, unless we can take them out. And they get multiple attacks? Oh yeah, that's what I mean. So yeah. three, three, and one. So seven damage total we'd have to spread around those characters. So you got to start taking them out. All right. You so want to attack one of the wolves? Yep. No all pressure, right. but if we don't oh. defeat them, we're probably all going to die. So, so you just two. one die, and you got a what short sword? Yep. So you gotta get a four or higher. Well, that's not gonna do yeah, it. Oh, okay. That's There's pressure cool. on you now. There's pressure. You can do that, Steve. But you I can, can use my range, right? Yeah, you can fire in, but if you miss, you're gonna shoot one of us. It's only three or hot. Yeah. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Oh no, what if I get Drew Gami mixed up with a wolf? We need to kill people. And it cost me an action to move in, right? The, the way uh, t priority works, you would kill him before you killed the wolves, because they are harder to hit. Are they a little profile? So if you moved into the space, and you rolled two six-sided dice, and they were both four or higher, you'd kill all the wolves and save the day. If or not... Or I could just shoot okay. and take three shots. That's true. <laughs> and how much are the wolves going to hit? They hit for one each We've time. got seven damage coming, so one of us will die unless you move into the space with us. But if I kill one... Yes, but your first shot will only kill him. So then all of us will be going around with two damage apiece. But if you miss and shoot one of us, we're going to take Why damage. would it only... He deals no, I, I can shoot three times. Oh, okay. Maybe you'll take all of them. Yeah, so if I shoot Do three, it. if I shoot three take times, take them all out. Take okay. them all out. Let's see where this game is going to take us. 
<laughs> I'm gonna shoot my bow. All right. Clear your eyes. I'm not nervous. <laughs> All right. One's dead. So necromancer's dead. You want to destroy that spawn point, the one that's right next to our faces, or this spawn point that's right there. You can choose, or you can destroy one of those spawn what points. You, you know better than I would. Um, probably the one next to. This one feeds out into the street. But we do want to get in here and get this objective token, so let's just get this guy out of the way. Alright, so, so he's dead for now. More than likely, he'll be showing up again. Two more attacks. Three or higher. Three or higher. Believe in yourself. No! Ooh, you shot somebody. <laughs> Who did you Who shoot? Did? I'll take the hit. Well, you couldn't have shot me. I was about me. to say how strong is her familiar. I'm low profile. Okay. Wait, familiar with, oh yeah, you could kill uh, Drugami. It would kill it. No. Yeah, it only has one health. Oh, okay. Lord. <laughs> he has low profile too. All right. He let's has low profile just as well as I am. Let's try again. We're both the same size. Last shot. You gotta make it count, man. Please do not hit Drugami. You gotta kill one of those wolves. Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. Thank goodness. So you, you gain one XP, one XP for the necromancer, one XP for the wolf. <laughs> And that is the end of the good guys' turns. It is the bad guys' turns. We must activate all the zombies. So, this runner comes barreling out of the house and starts attacking Daenerys Stormborn, first of her name, etc., etc. This wolf turns on us. We got three wounds. We got to divide across three heroes. No armor. Who wants to take some damage? I'll take first. All right. How about we each take a damage? All right. They don't roll? <laughs> they just nope. they just hit? Keeps the game moving faster. Mm -hmm. Good lord. If you have armor, you get to roll like a defense. But that's the only way you can mitigate damage. Mm -hmm. Or if you brought the healing character. They or if you find roll? a healing spell, etc. Et they just attack. Alright, I got one HP left. I can run that healer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a mountain with sunglasses? Okay, um, where are the gold coins from earlier? Here. Okay. The gold coin passes to the next person. She's going to be the first player uh, on the next turn. So the turn Daenerys. order rotates. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so we go to well, Daenerys. Daenerys. Right. Yeah. Okay, She's that's the, the next okay. hero. But we got a spawn. So we've got one, two, three spawn points. Alex, can you move that spawn point that's under your dice next to your soda back onto that tile right there? Is that? Nope. Nope, in the three. Right. There you go. All right, we got two NPCs. So we get out two NPCs, white bottom. We got one walker. A walker? And a walker. And we got another walker over there. That is a nice, calm spawn. And the two NPCs? Yep, two NPCs over here. Over there? Yep. And then grab two walkers. Two walkers? All right, Daenerys all has a lot of peeps in her space, but she's in a good situation because Viserion's passive ability is if he's in the same zone as her, she gains plus one die to melee, which applies to both well, hammers. Never. So Why she's rocking four dice on each attack. Where did these walkers go? They go right here. One on each spot. So she can just kill everything. Let's hope so. Here we go. She needs four or higher, and hammers can even kill fatties. So she's ready to rock their world. Ah, only one. Okay. The runner. The yeah. runner for sure. All right. Can somebody pass me some big dice? I'm gonna try some big dice. The big dice are good. This one's a good dice. Oh, not the right, whatever. Anyways. This is a good die. Is it? It rolled a six on the. Aren't those crazy? Side. Those d12s. They're actually just d6s. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's this guy did a Kickstarter a few years ago. He he worked so hard on it, and um, it, he made yeah he made these uh, hexagonal d6s. But it was a it was a long haul. It was a nightmare for him. Oh really? They're he went through a lot of manufacturers. And stuff. They're All right, amazing. there you go. She takes out the other two. She has one action left. She's going to use that action to dip into this building. The D sixes, the like D twelves, but they're. Oh, they're she keeps these two, two near her dashboard so that she can remember. She has a zombie nurse and a zombie. This is a nurse. Muslim dude. What were the guys called? Saracens? Is that this Saracen is... Swordsman's? You know, from like... This is a nurse? The Kevin Costner? Yeah. yeah. Robin Hood? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen that movie? I've seen it. Years ago. <laughs> Years ago? <laughs> Alright, so she gains 3 XP. She's a killing machine. And it is now Alex's turn. So getting that X does what? 
it gives you five XP. Dry. So it would push someone in the skyrocket yellow. you, yeah, yeah, in experience points. But that's bad. It is because then we start spawning yellow. Oh, right. But it has to be done. The other question is, do we want to get a good ranged item and send somebody up here mm -hmm. to snipe? Or do we just not want to worry about it and just start working our way through this place? We have to start this? walking down the street. Is Mana Blast just like this? Yeah, but it's a ranged attack. Mm, okay. I'm just going to use my short swords on the wolf that's right next to me. Well, oh, yeah, there's a wolf. Or do you want Drugami to attack? What's his accuracy? Uh, one dice. Okay, but well, what's the number? One number? Three or higher? Four Something or higher? Something plus. Three. So he's a little more accurate than your sword. I'm going to do it. Alright, do it. Is it one or? It's three. How many dice does he get? Three. No, he rolls one and hits on the three or higher. No. Yeah. I'm going to That got him. Done. You gain one experience point. You have two actions left. Do you want to move into the building and grab the... That, no, that's your guy. I wouldn't hit your own guy. <laughs> I know it's getting late, but... Uh, <laughs> cut, cut him some slack. Do you want to move in here and grab the XP? Yep. That's five more XP, so you gain six experience points this turn. I think that puts you right up against yellow. Is that correct? Nope. Oh. I'm not in yellow. I'm just at six. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah. Nervous. Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to go and get the yeah, X. Yeah, one plus five. Um, push me into seven. No, do you want to just head down the street? I don't have to move. I can shoot him. This do you have? What's so your cool. range though? It's uh one to it two spaces. Well, your line of sight's unlimited. Oh. Yeah. Your range is still limited. The oh, okay. the furthest range I've seen is three, on an item. But it's his turn. Oh yeah, true. What are you gonna do, Valeria? No, I don't know. Go and insert. Now the spell effects, the ones that are like repulse and stuff, they have no range limit. It's all based on line of sight. So, so like that, yeah, you could repulse, repulse that if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm doing it. Where would you well, repulse? Well, yeah, it to? it's not gonna hurt you. It's <laughs> no. just gonna bounce it. I'm just letting you know you can do it. Yeah, true. So, so really, like we either in. we either head up here and then we range it. We can have somebody range attack from up here, or we have to head that away and start going to those buildings. Yeah. Well, can we go and search? Yeah, if you want to go to inside this building, you can start heading that way and search. So you would go one, two, three to go in the building, or one, two, three to walk down the street. Those are probably your best options. One, two, three. All right, heading down the street. You're up. Oh. So, is Daenerys gonna pick up that X? No. She's gonna search probably. Okay. Okay. But we're gonna. Oh, she's gonna crack that door open too, so that we have another path to get to the exit if we need What's to. What's she gonna search for? But she doesn't get to search until her next turn. So. So I could go one, two, search. Yeah. All right. Draw the top card from the red deck. Speed. Oh, Enchantment. nice. It's an enchantment spell. It has to be in your left hand, your right hand, or your quick slot to be usable. If you put it in your hand, you move whatever was in your hand to your backpack. There you go. I know what I'm going to do for my turn. Speed is pretty cool, because it gives a bonus yeah, movement to anybody that you can see. And I think it's, what, two spaces or one space? Yeah, two spaces. Very cool. All right, now you'll notice that I haven't been putting down noise tokens. It's because it's pretty obvious for the zombies where we're currently at. Um, characters count as um, sound tokens. So every pet and every survivor counts as a noise token. Are you familiar? All right, so it's Muriel's turn. She's going to go one, two, three. Okay, and now it is a zombie time. Can you move each... Oh, those zombies one space. There you go. And we need to spawn some zombies. Mm -hmm. We are spawning one NPC right here. One NPC right where? Right here. Okay. Another one oh, three dead eye walkers. That's bad for the people that are walking down the street. Wait. So three Not of the, the archers. yeah the archers are going to be over there. And then all runners will get an extra activation. But 
We don't have any runners, and we're also still on blue. So that Wait, is that the extra back. activation that I was looking for? Yes, and it is extra activation card, so technically you get to take an extra turn right now. How many walkers? Whenever an extra activation card is drawn from the pile. So not if it takes effect or not, just if it's drawn from the pile. Nice. Huh? You don't need any walkers. We needed we needed uh, the skeletons. Yep. Three of them. Three skeletons. So. So you immediately get to take a turn. So is that one of the NPCs she needs? Uh, nope. That's another nurse. Where so the I can just go. Yeah. You got to step out in the street to hit it though. I think it would be like one. And could I search this? Wait. Right. Do these connect? Yeah. Yeah, it's upstairs. There would be like one walker. So if you could use the whole turn to move out and then shoot. All right. They're all three. Oh, they all. All three are going to be on that spawn point down right. there. Now, something I need to tell you about moving into and out of zones with zombies. In zombie movies, what do they do? They grab you, so you can't go anywhere. That's reflected in the game like so. If Leany moved into this space, no penalty. But if Leany tried to move out of this space, it cost one additional action point per zombie okay. to move out. So once there's enough zombies in the zone with you, yeah. you're done. You can't escape. Now there is an ability called Slippery that allows you to escape from uh, zombies without that Which penalty. Which Drugami has. Yeah. It's sort of like um, halfling nimbleness. All right. Tag. So that said, you have an extra turn. How do you want to use it? And he's not going to get an um, action until like next round. So mm -hmm. if I hop in, I'll attack him a bunch of times before he gets, yep. gets the move. Yep. So All right, so you move out the street. You're going to attack? Yeah. Attack once. If you do it on one, then you can just jump back into the room. If you want to. Three. Ooh, you need a four higher. One more. No. <laughs> All right. That is the end. Play passes to you. You're first. You're in a building, you could search, or you could start heading to meet up with the rest of the party. These guys are actually not on the board. They're hanging out. I'm going to search. All right, searching, you find a repeating crossbow. Ooh. I like the sound of that. They can be dual wielded, but they're not very accurate. And you have to reload them. What is it, like five or higher? Yeah. Three. Three or higher. Is it three or higher? Whoa. All right. How many dice? Sure, the scroll. Huh? It might be better than your mana blast. Can I see? I think it's three hearts. All right. No, 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 no. It has a range of zero to one. Oh. It rolls three dice, but they hit on a five or higher. Okay. Which? So you got to decide. Do you want lower accuracy but a chance to kill more things, or do you want to just stick with magic? Mm. I'm just going to stick for. All right, with sticking with magic. All right, you got two more actions. What do you want to do? Move out to the street. Can't you move into the other room and search? Uh, you can only search once per turn. Okay. There's exceptionally rare character ability that allows you to search more than once. And some other abilities that allow you to search for free, no matter where you are, out in the street, in a room with zombies. There's another one that lets you search every when you kill a zombie. You get to search for free. Well, you don't want to because I'm standing with it. Yes, <laughs> but if you miss, you will hit Steven. <laughs> Steven feels confident that he's got this. <laughs> so you want to just I, move forward? Yeah, I get three swings at it. All right. Yeah, hi. Or Daenerys can walk in there and beat it up. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> with her I'm just sitting down with some popcorn. I want to see how this All goes. All right. Oh, no. You're up, Beliria. I found some complimentary chips as well. Now, something to some tell you about the archers. They have a range of three. If there is a character in line of sight, Within a range of three, just hit. they shoot you and you automatically take Black point of damage. Neminary. They are terrible, especially Neminary. out in the street like that. Morse. So if you're gonna go up there, you better turn the corner. Yeah, no, I'm thinking. Um, but then there's already people there. If they can't see anyone, they'll move. They'll move one space. They just move. Yeah, That's they it. just move one space. This is a. All right. Whoo. What's on this gibberish? Yeah, Jim or, or Latin, I, I don't know. Don't read it out loud, though. We don't want this to read Never read Latin, especially late at night. Yeah. 
especially on lack of sleep. Yeah. Hopped up on caffeine. Because that's what you've pronounced sugar, it just right. Carbs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it just starts so you're done? Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. So I'm going to attack him. Okay. Or higher. One. Right. Attack him again. Amy? Hey, kiddo. There we go. Yeah. Daenerys is hooked up like crazy. Cracked his skull. It's rolling four dice on her attacks. Yeah. With hammers. Yeah. All right. Well, well. And now... You got two more actions. I got one. Oh, one more action? Yeah. So Took two swings? Yeah, I'm back in the belt. It was a tough song, dude. It was. <laughs> it was four swings total that I took out. All right. Muriel is also in a bad way, so she's going to run up and turn the corner with you. Oh, uh, you all are together. It's pretty. Yeah, we'll die together. <laughs> well, we're still in the blue, so when you open these doors, they'll still be blue. Yeah, yeah. All right. Daenerys is going to search. She finds a short sword. I need a short sword. I need you can a dual wield a short sword if I gave it to you. I can dual yep. wield a short right. sword. All right, but then you won't be able to use speed. Do I want to use speed or do I want to try to hack it stuff? Can you learn spellbook? Right. Can you learn spellbook? Do you want speed? I won't be able to dual wield hammers. Yeah. There is a, a, an ability called spell caster that allows you to use all the spells as if they were equipped in all of your slots at once, even if they're in your backpack. Isn't that Unbelievably spell powerful. Oh, spell book, you're Wait, right. So can I put this? Spell caster gives you one extra can I put magic this here? action. No, he can only hold armor or the item listed. Yeah, the sword. I oh yeah, it's spell is it short sword or is it regular sword? I have no oh, idea. Oh, it's regular sword. I'm gonna start it's stocking up. It's actually a regular sword. I'm What's gonna up? start stocking up on. Yeah. yeah. You gonna take one? Oh, the video game part? Alright. Alright, alright. Wait! I thought we were playing that. Mechs and Minions? Do you wanna wake up to play Mechs and Minions? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, go take a quick nap then. After Zelda Power up, Zelda. kiddo. Alright. Unless you guys wanna do Mechs and Minions another time when we're all well rested and. We could just yeah. organize and make some minions. Yeah. This is 25 yeah. hours. Yeah, we're getting a little tired. Yeah. Learning and we don't want to waste hours. it because it's kind of Learning a programming game, especially such a beautiful programming game. And it's a one run, right? Yeah, technically. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's story It's story based. Yeah. Yeah. It's co op. It's co op, yeah. Four player co op and story based. And uh, all the stories and campaigns are linked together. And you unlock content as you go. And there's mission dossiers. And is there a narrative? Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But there's no narrator character. The game narrates itself. Like Kingdom Death. Yeah, it's like Kingdom Death. Yeah. But with mixed with Robo Rally, oh. which is a programming game. So you Dungeons like program Dragons your mech, and then the mech has to do whatever your program it? tells it to do. It's, it's pretty sweet. So is it you and then Daenerys? Stuff? Yes, my bad. So now Daenerys needs to go. She searched. She spent her second action to do that. She and her dragon are gonna move into the square with the X, please. You sure? Yeah. That will put you over. This is the I'm not going to pick it up. It takes an action. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Thank you, Wesley. All right. So that is the end of the good guy's turn. It's bad guy's turn. Oh, no. Wesley, you can reach everybody. Please move all zombies one space. Now we are in line of sight of those nasty, nasty zombies. But now what you, but you are in line of sight to repulse them. So if you were pulsing forward, Muriel could run in there and just start whooping up with her hammer. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Um, now we have to spawn. Here we go. Two Deadeye Walkers right here. Deadeye Walkers. Okay. A double spawn, which means the next spawn point gets two cards, and that spawn point gets nothing. So the next spawn point has two one dead fatty eyes. and one walker. Yep, two dead eye walkers right there, and one regular walker and one fatty over by Wesley. Oh. Fatty! See, this ain't hard. So only the Easy. hammer can take down the fatties right now? Yeah, only the hammer can take down the fatty. Or Jugami. Or Jugami can take down the fatty. All right, the coin passes to Wesley. Beliria, you're first. We got doors we gotta open, but we got bad guys we gotta deal with. Yeah. Tough call. What are we gonna do? Well, somebody pick up the spider. Try to open the door. 
If you open the door, yeah. we can duck inside and get away from the get uh, the, the walkers. Experience but it will spawn. On right? turn. It will spawn the building, but we aren't on blue yet. Yeah. So it'd be a good time to open the door. Why Which door do you want to open? The one leading to the vault? The one behind us. It doesn't even have an exit. Really? I don't want to pick it up because it'll go into yellow. Oh really? Yeah. We'll let this one right here. Yeah. Oh, oh this is the original. I want this one. I could have sworn. Why would they have a building with nothing in it? Nope. Nothing in there. Why the hell would we open it? Nope. <laughs> that ain't happening. Mm, nope, no, nope. All right. Open purple Kick door. Open. Kick it open. You need what, a four higher? Yeah. All right. Five. 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 You kick the door open. Up on spells. Very nice. Come on. The first room has a runner. I have a runner over here. Ugh. <laughs> All right, the next room has nothing. Mm -hmm. And the room with the purple vault door has nothing. Yeah. And an extra activation. Yeah. Yep. You want to take that extra activation? No, I don't like extra terms. That's ridiculous. Oh, um, no, I better You get three actions, sir. Is it my turn? Yes. Oh, it's bold. Go here. Slash with two weapons and two All right. Because they're not getting their turn, right? Uh, nope, not until the end of all of our turns. I'm so you're technically going to get two turns in a row here. Because Valyria's going to finish her turn. I'm in line of sight with these guys. Got one. All right. I'm in line of sight with all of these. Yeah, the bows need to be within three. Got oh, the they're all dead. Two experience points forced even. Uh-oh. That'd be so good. If you... oh. I'm at five, so I oh. still have... Okay. Uh, should I be a really, door? the last door we need to open is kicking that open one. A door giving I think experience. we, I think we'll be all right. No, kicking Should open doors. Should I be a coward and run away? And it's, away? A, and it's a no, lone room. If you're gonna run away, run into the building. <laughs> okay. And yeah. it's a lone room. Yeah. So it's only one. It won't be one. too bad. Yeah. I think we're we're safe to kick into to yellow. All right, so it takes an action to move in, right? Yep. And I'm gonna hit him. All right. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. I hit him. You hit him. Yeah. He's dead. One more experience point. Uh, just hold on to him, and then when she calls for uh, a runner, we already have one. One experience point. Very Ooh, nice. Man. All right, Setiel, you get to go again. Man, zombie link, nice. One, two, you gonna grab it, or are you gonna search? I'll search. All right, red guard. Acts of carnage. Oh, you have drawn a magical item. Notice that the blue and yellow stones have been removed from the card. That means you must be an orange to use it. However, this is how sweet the Axe of Carnage is. It automatically opens doors. <laughs> and it, it rolls four dice, they hit on a four or higher, and they're damaged too. Pretty nice. But you gotta get to orange to use it. Magic items come with the Wolfsburg expansion to balance out the insanity that is the wolves. All right, as we've seen on our first turn, all getting jacked up. Mm -hmm. All right, that means it is uh, my turn. So you're looking Muriel. to put herself all the way up to five. Did Muriel not gain any experience points? No, no. She yeah, she opened the door. Everything was dead before she got to swing. All right, so Muriel's gonna go one. She's gonna search just in case she pulls a zombie. Oh, she gets plenty of bolts. Plenty of bolts. If you have a crossbow, and this is in your backpack, you can re-roll your attack roll if you aren't happy with it. Can I have that? With the repeating crossbow? Yeah. I'll get it. I have a crossbow. And then I will take this and gain five experience points. It's like an automatic crossbow. Whoop. It's a repeating one. All right. We're also in a great place to search as we slowly make our way to the purple vault. Okay, um, Daenerys. Daenerys, she's more than capable enough to get experience points on her own, but it might be cool to grab this, so she's going to. She's going to pick up the XP. That shoots her up to eight. And we are... We are now, right before the spawn. Are you sure you don't want to wait? Wait until next turn? Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the spawn. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to open the door. Actually, I'm going to search first, and then we'll try to open. She finds another mana blast. Woot woot. Yay. Now they can be dual wielded, so they're not the worst thing ever. Yeah, she has the second one. And she's gonna try to bust down the door. 
She does so on a four or higher. I don't think Yugami can be nope. wielded. Nope. One last action. She's going to try to bust open that door. A two. No. There are characters that start with an axe. You don't get two shots at the door if you're dual wielding? Nope. That's very sad. It should be, should be wrong, but mm. sadly that is the rules. Okay, Alex, finish it up with Lini, the iconic druid. I want to die. Running straight down the street, a little risky. So one, two. Do you want to search or do you want to move into the same space as us? Search. Searching. You find the deflecting dagger. One of the best magic items in the game. Deflecting dagger is zero range, so it's melee. Only rolls one die. I can't be that great. It's on a four or higher. And one damage. However, deflecting dagger gives you a plus one die with your other hand's melee weapon. So it gives you an additional die to whatever to your other hand is, and it counts as a shield. So you can use it to deflect attacks. Can Every I time you're hit, four or back? higher. You want to stuff Dragami in your backpack, he will no longer be in play. I don't know how I would do that. Yeah, yeah, I think he needs to stay out. Um, Alright, so if you were to ditch uh, your mana blast, you would then be rolling two dice with your short sword. But I need to be in yellow. That's true. You're not in yellow yet. So maybe he goes in your backpack till you get to yellow? Mm -hmm. All right. That is the I end. It is time to move some bad guys. Because we are all behind doors over there, even though we're very loud, we made some noise busting open doors. There's two of us right there. Uh, more than likely, they're going to head towards Beleria and Muriel. So go ahead and move everybody, please. All right, so they can't open doors. So they go that away. Yep. Okay. Pretty simple AI. All right. All right. I think the yeah, zombie would have turned to the door. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now we gotta spawn some zombies. We've got one fatty over here. We're still on blue though. We're still on blue. We got, uh oh, three wolves by the camera. Three wolves by the camera. And by Wesley, we've got another fatty. Three wolves by the camera. Oh yeah. If it I'm we, not sure we want to open that door. If we were on red, it would be six wolves. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, in the water by Wesley? Alright, one more fatty. Oh. By Wesley. Hmm. Now, one thing to note. You have to use an open door check to open a vault door. But, vaults never spawn zombies inside of them. You cannot shoot into or out of a vault. And vaults usually contain sweet, sweet candy in the form of a powerful magical item with no level requirements. So, it's not a bad idea for Team Beleria... Muriel to head towards the vault doors. The other team, they need to get to that door back by that spawn point. So, it's probably going to be yellow. It's only got a single room in there, and it's next to a spawn point. But I think we need to fight our way to it on the next turn. Now, we could leave that red one on the ground, but... We need to grab it on the way out. We might want to grab it on the way out. And just face the, face the facts. All right? Or we can send one person to the vault and Muriel goes to help the rest of the team. Splitter, you want to go on ahead? And then. Um, yeah, I'll go. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, you went well, first? Yeah, it's me first. So time. You're, you're first this time. Sediel is starting things off. What are you going to do? You going to grab it? I guess we'll pick it up. Alright, five experience points. Alex, can you pass the red X to Steven? The red X that's on the table? That's right there. Sense us getting ready for game. Yeah. So plus one action. Yeah. Yep. Agreement. When you get there, you take one of your little XP things. Your blue ability was already there, and now you mark that you have your yellow ability. The reason we use these markers is because when you get to orange, you have to choose which of those abilities you want, and then when you get to red, you have to choose one of those abilities. I'm choosing ironclad. Ironclad against wolves. Nice. <laughs> against wolves. If I ever make it. So do we want to open that door? The wolves can go one, two, three. Yeah, I guess we can open the door. Okay. So I'll try to open the so door. So Daenerys is not up here, right? She's at no. three, and she was at five. There we go. Okay. I'm not tired either. I'm fine. 
What? Are you back out here? No. We'll be back out here. Mm -hmm. You didn't break orange. How would you break orange already? So I'm going to try to open the door. He All right. just started. Look at how many Four or It's going pretty good. A lot of wolves and, and archers, though. Opened it up. Dang! Yeah. All right, kick the door open. Alex, can you open the door next to the exit? This one? Yes, that is the one. Oh. No, can no, you, you, can physically, you physically, physically, can Alex it. the human open the <laughs> <laughs> That you can only search your room once, right? Or it you can only search once per turn, but you can search the same room as many times as you want. Okay, I'll like search. We could hole up somewhere and just search forever, but then the zombies build up while you're searching. All right, go ahead and draw a guard. Dragon Bile. Spend an action and discard Dragon Bile from a hand. Put a Dragon Bile token at range 0 to 1. Yeah. All right, then if you throw a torch onto it, it explodes, kills everything on that space. That's so 1-2 nice. combo. It doesn't do anything until we get the torch. All right. So that's for the bunny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Muriel's turn. We said well, I had one more action. Oh, you have one more action? Yeah, move on to the street, man. I don't want to go out there. Move on to the street. Maybe you get extra activation. You can run. That's up the there. archers. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> that's they instant can, death. They can shoot you right now. They got an open door. See? I'll just shoot right in. Boop. They what? can see in there? They curve yeah. the arrow. From, from here to here, if we were back here, they couldn't see yeah, us. Yeah, I'm going to move away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, oh. I'm not trying to get shot. Magus, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Told you. I told you about the Magus. <laughs> you you know, can my go. Next turn, I'm going to go out and all right, You so realize I had one action. You wanted me to move. Here's my concern. We've got all these melee centric characters, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got these archers that are keeping us penned in, right? If we charge out to take out these archers, then we get killed by these wolves. Because yeah. the wolves are like backup. So your move is actually pretty smart. It just stinks because mm -hmm. it halts our advance. So I think we're going to have to rethink our plan. This team's going to have to back it up a little bit, and this team's just going to have to go for the, the vault. And my Sound good? Drugami yeah. could kill that fatty. Drugami could go out there and kill that fatty. That wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, in that case, Muriel's going to go one, anyway, two, and she's going to try to bust open the door. Oh, and you can take the fatty. I can't we kill the fatty. We have four or higher. Yeah. Got it. Drugami. <laughs> All right. Now it is oh, Daenerys' turn. Daenerys desperately wants to go out there and just whoop the buns off of those monsters. That's what I was going to do. However, she is not. She's going to back up. <laughs> and then she's going to search. Wimpy, 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 wimpy. Well, you, oh, you want to kill him? What, do it out in the street? Yeah. Uh, she will activate Viserion to shoot a fireball. Well, he's Dark a fatty. Oh. Yeah, so you'd have to do it with the hammers, but... I don't really want to do that. And she can, she has the cat to back it up if you don't cat finish it. Go out. She'll search. Each person I'm just talking so you can get once. the experience. Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. Thing search? Like, so you can draw? unlock that second ability. Yep, she draws a dagger. A dagger's not that great right now. But I have a deflecting dagger. You do. So, her turn is over? No, Once she's again. got one action left. Does Once anybody again. want to rearrange their inventory or trade items? She needs that, if she uses the repeating crossbow. How close is she? Ew. Yeah, if she kills that zombie, she can unlock the repeating crossbow and use mm. that query. Already? The quarry. Or quiver. Don't I have, I already have the The quiver's over there. Uh, I need to get to um, yellow to get this. Yeah, she's trying to get to yellow. Yeah, so that zombie will put so her yeah, in yellow. yeah, will put her yellow. Alright, she's going to stop her turn. Your turn. You're going to spend one action to send Dragami outside? Yeah. One action to attack. Yeah. Keep in mind, if Drew Gami can't pull this off. Oh, oh, you got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you killed the fatty. Awesome One experience. Player. Put her in yellow. You're in yellow. You have two extra actions now. Does Drew Gami want to pop I back inside with you? Action. No, you gained. Now you have four actions per turn. Oh. So you used one to go on the street, one to bite the fatty. Now you have two actions left. Does Drew Gami want to move back in with you? Okay, and then you have one action left. You want to search? Yep. All right. You find the Chaos Longbow. <laughs> yes. The greatest item in all of Zombicide. <laughs> Why is it so great, you might ask? Well, if you get to orange, you can equip this fine magical item. And what does it do? Well, it rolls zero to three range. So it can be used point blank. Pretty rare for a uh, ranged weapon. Up to three range, max range in the game. Does it get better? It does. It rolls four dice to attack. Each uh, die can hit on a four or higher, and it can kill fatties. 
Can it get any better than that, you ask? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if four or more successes are rolled with this bow, the zone that you have targeted is affected with dragon fire. It procs That's dragon it? fire? Yes. And if it's... you have a character who has abilities that say plus one die for range and things like that, it exponentially increases those odds of getting those four successes. And she rerolls misses if she uses that. If she has arrows, we have okay. bolts. Oh, so bolts. we do have to find her some arrows. Now this character has an ability called Iron Rain at red. You roll a number of dice on your ranged attacks equal to the number of actors in the zone you're targeting. <laughs> All right. All right, here you go, magic item merchant. <laughs> <laughs> Who has melted to the floor. <laughs> I got the best weapon in the game. Punch drunk level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have gave her that soda. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need another soda? No. You sure? No, I said you should have. Oh. You got her in a sugar rush. I might need a soda. Mm -hmm. Anybody want a Red Bull? I will take a Red Bull. Or do you want a root beer? Uh, a blue Bull. I got blue and I got red. You want a blue no, Bull or a Red Bull? No, I got one last blue and then I got the reds. Do you want a blue Bull or a Red Bull? Or we got... That. I'll take the root beer. Pick your poison. We'll, we'll, hold, Pick we'll hold off on Pass him the root beer. Why then? Oh, I'm sorry. Where's oh. oh. your bottle of dragon's bile? I said I wasn't going to drink a lot of Red Bull. I lied. <laughs> it was the best lie I ever told. So the door, so this other sword is red just for fun? Oh, I need to I need sleep. No. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. not very good at sleeping? So she should just come out of here and play with us. I got the best weapon in the game. <laughs> she did get the best weapon in the game. And she got the fairy dagger. The two of them are having that. a pretty good time, I think. She can put that dagger on now. Oh, yeah. you're in. Hey, hey Alex. You're what? in yellow. You could equip your dagger now, too. Yeah. I know. That's yeah, why I killed knows. the bad. Doi. <laughs> McDoi. All right. Hold on, though. You're out of actions for this turn. Beliria, you're up. All right, so one, two, and three takes you down here. That magical item. Little teleporty effect. You get out of here. You don't have any more actions though. No. All right, now we do have to bust open this door from the other side. So we, push, and then we'll appear in that room. Oh. That will uh, cause a spawn to appear in that room though. The hardest thing we're gonna have, I think, is getting to that room right by the exit. Yeah. Nah. Because clearing out that area is gonna be gonna be rough. Is that it? Is everybody done? Set to yell start of the turn, yes? And Valeria ends it? Okay, let's move some dudes. There is a lot of noise coming from over here. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking all these bow dudes are gonna move here. This person, however, can... Oh, can't I'm see us really anymore. Line of sight's bad, so they're gonna turn around. I'm a really good And wolves searcher. are gonna go one, two, three. Now we take them out. See how fast wolves are? See the problem with wolves? Did you go three or did you go four? This is actually... Oh, it's one space? Yeah. It looks like one space now. You know what? I would say it's two. two. It's two. Because the streets are all one. So we're going to go one, two, three. Buildings sometimes take up more space. That is a nice, uh, juicy spot to just run out <laughs> there. And just start whirlwinding with uh, melee attacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now we got to spawn, stairs. though, and we're spawning on yellow. I'm going to get you. Here it comes. Extra uh, action. Uh, uh oh. Wolf abomination. What? I need the big old werewolf abomination. It's not the cool looking one with and the horns. And it's right at the door we needed to exit if we wanted it's to run. One? It's right here. Yeah, if we wanted to run, that's. Yep. <laughs> you guys are like. And it can only be killed so with... So what do werewolf abominations do? That's a good question. Murder everything. We'll remind like everybody and our viewers at home. <laughs> can I kill it with a chaos viewers at home? You can kill it with a... These guys can only be killed by damage three weapons. No! They, require, they will give you five XP if you kill them. They count, they count as abominations. That means that armor cannot prevent damage dealt by these monsters. And to make it worse... <laughs> Unlike normal abominations, wolf abominations, you get three actions per turn. No, I wouldn't think. It's... That's probably the worst thing ever. But they Please look like they're breakdancing. That one of these is going to be an extra. They action. look like they could just go. 
Because then I can clean those guys up. Right? Either way, we need to run that way. Yeah, now we do. <laughs> My plan was to run this way. All right. Wow, we are sandwiched in there. That's Let's, the first one. It can't get worse than that. All right, two walkers. Two walkers over here? Yep, at the Alex spawn extra point. Action, extra action. And four wolves at the Wesley uh, spawn point. I have two wolves <laughs> oh, right here. Two yeah, more. Oh, of course. She's been waiting for you. All <laughs> right. You're currently rolling four dice in melee and with your dragon and your hammers. And, and as you know, you've I also have... collected two NPCs. Valeria is down in the vault, yeah, about to get hopefully to a very powerful item. Yeah. Do you need a sodi? Also, with this. You want a root beer? I you, can you kill, want the orange cream soda? I can kill the Unbun Bunnation. I don't think any of those have caffeine, but... but. <laughs> I can kill the Unbun Bunnation. No. Okay, the orange cream soda doesn't have caffeine. I can kill the Unbun Bunnation, Ivy! How? I can! Because it shoots dragon fire? <gasps> Duh! She can kill the Unbun Bunnation! If it ever comes out of its little hiding place. I hope it never does. Has anybody broken yellow? Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> That's the only way I can hold yeah, this. Yeah. While I'm up, does anybody want chips, brownies, queso? I a roll. I got a roll here. A roll? a roll? A roll? I will take a roll. Just, a roll. Just a random roll. roll? Just a random roll? There you go. Really? Like medieval times. We also got some peanut butter cup cookies. We got Halloween candy. Anybody yeah, want to this stuff? I'll get a different color straw. What color do you want? You can have them. We've got the blueberries. We should make blueberry pancakes in the morning. Blueberry pancakes! You want blueberries? <laughs> okay. It tastes like ice cream? Fizzy. Fizzy ice cream. There's <laughs> two straws. Num, num, num. Do you want to put it right here? This thing isn't cold anymore. Put it back in the freezer. Get a new one. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. No, like the stuff with face in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm feeding trough. I don't think it'll fit. All right, that's <laughs> rough. It's getting a little rough out there. Yeah. It's yeah. hard on the streets. Don't bring any of the rocks. The For medieval survivors. Yep. Just remember the blue one's mine. Uh, the coin changes back to Muriel. Muriel's going to go first. Muriel yeah. knows in her heart yeah. that she should be out in the street whooping buns, but she is going to go down here. And try to open that door. All right, here we go. He's a four or higher. One. All right. He's a four or higher. Three. <laughs> yep. Her turn is over. Needs a four Muriel, or higher. Muriel, you continue to disappoint me. <laughs> Daenerys, this is gonna sound totally nuts, but if you don't go into that crowd of archers and wolves, you will die. Because we got an abomina wolf right there. I'm just gonna die either way. Yeah, so you might as well take as many people out as you can. And if I don't fail, I'm gonna die either way, so uh, I'm just gonna die either oh, way. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so it's what? You one, do turn into two, a dragon. And roll four dice. <laughs> your but goal here is to get all four kills. But you do turn into your dragon. So roll four yeah, dice. And I fly away. And try to get four kills. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Four dice, dice, four kills. I thought it was eight dice. No. It is sadly not eight dice. Why is Aww. it eight dice? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't it be eight dice? Life is cruel, Queen of Dragons. Wait. Wait. What? Oh, it's she's stopping me from using oh. the big dice. Okay. Take that die. Uh, All right. Well, you need to roll four of them, so <laughs> grab some more. I All right, you, you got to get four or higher. Like That'll put her into yellow, it. and she'll get another attack. Very good die. Oh, three! That's still pretty good. You can take all three wolves. Take a wolf too, please. Oh, boom! Definitely all three wolves are dead, and your little people. baby dragon whoosh, flies in there with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa and he's whoa, like, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. what is this? <laughs> all right, covered in zombie blood. No. You're now up to six experience points. Nobody said that. So had to close happen. to seven. So close. All I'm right. Seven. Do I get another? Oh, I'm sorry. You do not. Alex, it is your turn. She's going to need some help out there on the streets. That's exactly what I was planning to do. Do it then. 
So one, two, you're out in the streets. Who's can gonna I be take, doing the fighting? Can I take this oh out of my backpack? Or would that cost an action? Can you take that out of your backpack? It will take an action to trade gear. But at four actions. You have two left. You wanna spend one to pull out your dagger? Yep. All and right. then the other one, two. Yeah, All right, you roll two dice to attack with your short sword. Each die hits on a four or higher. Did Daenerys two take die? anyone out? Daenerys took three of my, all three wolves. Can I level her up? That did not. Attack. One point uh, short. One point short. I'm going to attack with my dagger. Otherwise, she would have busted out. All right, do it. Two dice. All right. I'm going to take this. Okay. Thank you for letting me use your lucky die. Ooh, one. It's a buff. All right, you gain another experience points. Lini and play shifts yes. to Beleria. Would what? you like to pick up this beautiful magical item? No. What did you do? Oh my. Of all the vault items I have access to, I would say this is probably the best and most appropriate for your character. Inferno. <laughs> Inferno has a zero to one range. It rolls four flipping dice. They hit on a four or higher, and they hit level two enemies. But does it do dragons fight? I was about to say, can it set up dragons? Can it kill the can it automatic? Officially, only torches can light dragons fire. But mm. the popular house rule, internet, is mm. that people assume that lightning bolts and inferno <laughs> and fireball... And Ivy's back now. Come on Obviously. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A little can bit more... Light, you know, don't burn yeah, the hottest. Yeah. Can dragons fight dragons fire? Can dragon fire like dragon fire? Yeah. Yes. Like if he can little baby dragon? No. What if he breathed, breathed a fireball on it? Well, let's go on a little too far. It would smoke a little and then burn out. Yeah. <laughs> Viserion, he's got he's got wimpy breath weapons, just like his human namesake. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try to kick down. All right, kicking down the door. But Dragami's a big beast. Dragami like dragon style. Six. Bam! Busted it. open. No, why didn't you put your magic on? Oh, I, yeah. can I do it automatically? Yeah, when you Wait, successfully you search oh, okay. or pick up an item like that, you can do that. All right, not bad. We got two dead eye archers are waiting in that room in the corner. So here you go. Now this is good and bad. Good because they can't fire into or out of a vault. Um, bad because we can't fire <laughs> out of the vault. So, more than likely they're going to move in here with us and then we'll deal Ivy with just dropped the truth bomb Inferno, on me. When I cast oh, you just it. kicked the door and couldn't break it. Ivy just dropped the truth I bomb tried. on me. <laughs> it was that if she had her tiger stand in the same place as the dragon pile, it would be dead. Yes. Inferno's nasty. Yeah. That is the bad part yeah. of the chaos bow. Chaos bow does allow you to shoot at point blank. Obviously, if you dragon fire at point blank, you kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I was about to ask about Inferno. If I Inferno point blank, will I kill myself? No, but it's not a nice friendly fire spell. That's for sure. No, yeah. Yeah, because dealing two health to somebody for each you miss, yourself. You cannot friendly fire yourself. Okay. Yeah. So it's you can still use it on your own. That's Correct. Good. Okay. All right, we're doing pretty good, guys. We're doing pretty good. This is the this is the monkey wrench for sure. So what is the plan? You have two, one more action? I have one more action. That's probably yeah, yeah, he, he actually looks like a wrench. He just hang out. He does. Probably should hang out. If you move into the room, you oh, get shot like twice. Yeah. Can you search the vault? <laughs> you cannot monkey, search the vault. He's a monkey wrench. This is a monkey wrench. Good question. Like a monkey <laughs> <and a wrench. laughs> it's considered probably the dumbest looking miniature in the entire Zombicide Black Flag. He's exposing line. his weak point. Yeah, like, look at this armpit, baby. <laughs> he's giving yeah. an eye five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's looking for someone. <laughs> he's yeah. That's why he's so mad. Like, yeah, that one like, like, just leaves him hanging for 200 <laughs> years. <laughs> he's had that arm oh, up really? in the air. Don't yeah. let me hang him, bro. <laughs> Give me a five. It's like really gawny. What flavor is it? Wait, he wrote things on his hands? It's a chocolate flavored lollipop? No. I don't know what flavor it is. That's yeah, probably I think those ones are chocolate. Yeah, they're the best ones. You can't chocolate, really, chocolate. you can't really sell brown as a flavor. <laughs> We're gonna go with <laughs> What flavor is that brown? <laughs> <laughs> what flavor? What tastes like? What color uh, food dyes are used? Number two. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. All right. Thank you. So that means Valeria's done. Setiel, your turn. Let's do this, Setiel. One, yeah. two. Yeah, two actions left. <laughs> Tear it up. Attack him. 
Boom. Boom! Two dice, two kills. Is it chocolate? It is chocolate. It's, and pretty, it's pretty authentic. It's yeah. like the best. They were always good. It's yeah. pretty delicious. I've never had a chocolate uh, Tootsie Pop. <laughs> chocolate Tootsie Pop. First pop. time having a chocolate Tootsie Pop. Chocolate. So, it is for sure. I didn't know yeah. I did those when I was born. It's a chocolate <laughs> chocolate pop. Double chocolate. <laughs> Triple chocolate. I even oh, wanna... speaking of which, after this, ice cream sundaes. After that, I can Bored make somebody Ooh. triple chocolate. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of ice cream, vanilla or chocolate? Both of those two are those dead. Those are your only two options. All right, what? can we remove those two archers from the board and gain two experience points? Yep. Are you already did? Raise okay. your hand you have you one like more action. Better. Would you like to foolishly move into the space yes. with that zombie? Card ever. The best. No. Okay. Card. It's no. not the worst idea ever Oprah because that abomination is coming <laughs> for us. Now keep in mind, we can move out of the space with the abomination. But it will cost us one extra movement. Yeah, because it's gonna grab me. I was gonna ask, can yeah. I take an ice cream vote real quick? Um, when it's not people's turns, you can write down their ice cream order if they're interested in ice cream. Double up it. Raise your hand if you are interested in ice cream. All right. So <laughs> don't yeah, don't are. ask until it's not their turn, okay? Why don't you grab a piece of paper and a pen or something? Okay. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh! All right, we need to go after that door in the corner, too. They still haven't got rid of the Yeah. <laughs> 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 a little chunk. <laughs> I think when you start sliding around and flopping out of your chair and your bones stop working, that's when you're reaching critical time. We just need to get him to control where they get his ice cream. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can go. Up, up, careful, up. careful. Up. You can't move someone in that condition. You might break their back. <laughs> Okay. All right. Sediel's <laughs> done. Muriel. Muriel says, I've done all I can. I'm out. Or I guess I could move into that oh, space. Oh, wait. Move in. All right. And is anybody a healer? Nope. We decided not to bring the healer. Healing's for the weak. Yeah. Now, there is a healer available at retail. She's super ugly. No offense to the artist. And she comes with a special artist pack with uh, three other heroes. She's the only hero officially released in the game. I made my own hero. She's a white mage from Final Fantasy. She's awesome. I love her. Uh, by healer, we just mean a character who starts the game with the healing spell. All right. There is one healing spell in this deck. <laughs> one. Uh, Zombicide so is pretty unforgiving um, in recovery items and armor. Armor is actually very hard to come by. I've gotten pretty lucky so Muriel's far. rolling four attacks on two so. zombies. I don't know if I can find it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I don't know if I can find it. They are dead. I think I'm With her last action, she's going to pick it up. That's 7 XP total. She rockets from 5 I might have used up all my luck on these guys. All right. These yeah. Another action. Boom. She's going to move back in with Valeria. Pass me that all the way up to... Ooh, I could have searched that room, huh? But I kind of want to catch up with the rest of the party. We got work to do. We can search on the way out. Yeah. 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 All right. Um... Who started things? Oh crap, did Muriel start things? Yeah. yeah. Then I probably have to take that entire turn back. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> Taking the whole turn back. Just Taking the whole, yeah, I'll just stay there, put those guys put back the on, put the X back on. My bad, a little tired, no problem. All right, Zombos get to move. Why don't you pass those archers over to me? Yeah, now they're coming to get you guys. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so we got archers up in our grill. Hopefully they don't get an extra activation. Then we've got Wolfie is going to go right. one, two, three. <gasps> Walker is going to go here, here, here. Can I move out of this space? You're getting it. One, two, three. There we go. Can I move out of this space? No, it would take two movements. It is spawn time. Oh, no. Did you think that that abomination was bad? Is it abomination? The alpha abomination <laughs> has entered play. Alpha abomination. Is it? Who's that? That's we were doing so well. What does the al He's the one with the horns and the crazy spikes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does the alpha it's abomination like do? abomination. Oh, you think so? It's so much worse. I'm talking about this. Okay. This one. Zombie the bosses. The other one that wants a high five. There's two they're that wait, want a high five. Whose turn is color. it? Um, hold on. We gotta finish spawning. I want to tell you what Abominable Alpha does. Where, alpha where did Abomination. It spawn? As long as the Abominable, uh, sorry, the Alpha Abomination is on the board, if runners spawn, you spawn wolves instead. 
Uh, and he gets three activations. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll do so we need, to stay ahead. we need to stay ahead of both of those. Goodbye. But if we bring your bile with your Inferno, Inferno, we might be able to do this. Um, All right. Spawning up by Alex at the Alex spawn point, no. we have the Abun Bun Nation. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Read it to me, peoples. Read it to me. Here it is. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I want to see dead. that artwork. Can you, can you find the card for the Abun Bun Nation? It should be in uh, one of the bags. Guys, the is oh, we could have just discarded play? him. Hmm? If you're in stolen blue, yeah. you can just discard That's him. The Abomin Both of them? Yeah. And finally, at the Wesley spawn point, Extra. we have three wolves. Is Grin still here? There you go. Kill him. Yeah, we killed Grin pretty early, and he hasn't reappeared. When he reappears, the Abunba Nation will kill him. All right, Abunba Nation moves three zones per movement. If it starts its turn in the zone with a necromancer, it kills the necromancer. <laughs> instantly. Any wounds from Abunba Nation kill the survivor instantly, and it can only be killed by dragon fire. Luckily. So we went from no abominations to three abominations. Kill it. Kill. I need to be kill. at one. Yeah, I already did kill. Him. Well, if we can get all three of them on the same space. <laughs> Does anything, you know. And survive. Have any, like, level and three survive. Levels? Look, we've almost got all the tokens, and there's the exit. We got this. <laughs> all three of all of us have to get out of the exit, but we don't have any dead eyes. Yeah, there's well, that. That's the exit. Mm hmm. That's a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. But for every problem, there's a solution. Yeah, I don't know what that is right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rain fire. Does anybody get a bonus shit. for, um, to damage? Does anybody have a damage boost as one of their level up abilities? No, I have no. Swordmaster and Spellbook. I don't uh, know what they do. It was a spell. plus damage under your. I have it in red. Guys. Oh, so we get Balerion in red. Easy. Yeah, I have uh, one experience. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's Swordmaster? Um, if I get Swordmaster is every weapon in the game is a dual wieldable weapon. Yeah. Seems really good, but there's not too many melee weapons that aren't already uh, dual wield weapons. So two acts of courage. Um, yeah. I have something to tell you. What's up? If you get me to red, I can either get another dragon fire or just stand in dragon fire and not be affected. Very cool. I just stand there. Mm -hmm. A big explosion happens. What? Okay, so that's rough. It's pretty fire. rough. And Wolfsburg's no be... no place for babies. It's no place for babies. All of these cards. <laughs> and that's what we pull. Whose turn is it? Mm. You start things off, the Nereus. It will cost three actions to move out of this space right now because there is a walker and an abomination. So if you kill the walker, it will help everyone else escape from the wolf. Can you do that? The abomination okay. is in play. We're probably going to have to mitigate damage from that wolf. And that's going to be hard because that wolf attacks three have times. We to run as fast as we yeah. can away from a bunny. Now uh, the bunny three, only... Six, six, three. Nice, it's dead. And that puts you into yellow. You have three more actions. It'll take two actions to get out of the zone. Does Alex, the can you remove the zombie that is right next to that baby white dragon? Oh, yeah. All right, yep, that works. Can you tell Alex about why the Abumba Nation has something against necromancers, please? Oh, the backstory for the Abumba Nation. The Beast of Awe got destroyed. It says, seeking a way to even the odds against the necromancers, the enchanter known as Bob gathered Bob. up the blasted remains of the fabled legendary Black Beast of Arg and made his own attempt at necromancy. Unfortunately, evil this great cannot be bound by any magics. And now the beast roams free. The good news, it really does kill necromancers. The bad news, it also kills any other living things it can find. Oh, even other bunnies? Oh. Was it Tim? Living. <laughs> He's also been called Tim. <laughs> <laughs> even other bunnies? Everything. Obviously other bunnies. Trees? Thank goodness. It would be terrifying if it reproduced. Yeah. Okay. We really gotta think hard on this. You gonna move out of the space and I guess fight the next oh, yeah. <laughs> zombie? We got all those wolves to deal with them. I, <laughs> I don't know if you better to stay where you're at. That's the only thought that you comes Just take the one hit that. from the abomination? Mm, no, because you'll have the bunny on you and you'll have this guy on you. The bunny? I gotta get out of here! So you've only got three actions left though. 
So what are the bunnies attacked? One, two would take you here, you wouldn't be able to escape. It's attacked. You it's have to stay. And the wolves will crush you. If it hits you, you die. Because the wolves, all four of the wolves are getting attacked. Yep. Unless you guys distract them. You could run into the building. Why didn't we play Hodor? If you, if you try to take this door, it'll distract the wolves. We're both down in the vault. Yeah, so we've we got come dudes to do. Oh. Can I join you? Well, one of you guys do. She has repulse, which is an amazing crowd have, control spell. I don't have repulse on. I already swapped it off for Inferno. But you, you, it's you just can hold repulse in your body slot. My eyes open. Oh, nice torch. No, I'm a torch. Oh, it's a torch. Oh, dang. Fire. Okay. I fell asleep with my eyes open. Hmm. Now. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of hosed. <laughs> is it like you up now? I don't know what to do. Like I'm I'm awake. Awake. This person, the first but person can kill hurts. the two archers, and the other person can come and open the door to make noise to pull the wolves. <laughs> yeah. But wolves Where's go towards line of sight. If I could line make of sight, it, and then then <laughs> the distance on line of sight, and then the, if it's tied, the noise on line of sight. Derpity derpity derp. Oh, it says caffeine. <laughs> all right. But if we all stand there, they will come to that. They will come to that zone. But you'll have to distribute not your the damage wolves. around. The wolves will go. The wolves no, everybody will end up on that zone nine. for dragon fire. Yeah. Hello. So if we can get him <laughs> to. <laughs> They, I already have the dragon vial. Sadly, I go before. No, he goes before me, yeah. so he'd have to clear them. Wait! If he cleared them, I could oh. take the inferno. The abomination would kill me and I only have three actions. Last. Last. So one, two, Yay. three, I wouldn't have a shot. But next turn is when you need to ignite it. Yeah. And then die instantly. You just need to get there next okay. turn. Well, I mean, I could make it there, there. But then how will you guys get out of the space that's got three abominations? Last. You need four actions to exit the space. Uh, we, yeah, you yeah, can, yeah, we can clear it. One you person might. One mm. If somebody Gani. brought Repulse, Gani, they could move Gani. everybody out of the Gani. space Gani. into the space with the dragon's bile right and then light them up. Mm -hmm. Take one, please. Oh, that, that's Yeah, good. so we need to drop the dragon's bile right there. Yeah, and then run away. Yep. No, we're not moving. We no, you actually it. need to hold your ground. So we're all gonna die. Yeah, probably, but Good it's part of life. life. But it's like, <laughs> you're gonna have to spread that damage around, though. Thank you. Ivy says goodbye. Well, there's only gonna be chocolate. there's gonna be three hits. Three hits this round, yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, everybody yeah. should trade yeah. items around as needed and chuck yeah. dragon's bile yeah. as needed. With sprinkles. So, Lee. Everybody's recommending you just stay there. Okay. Now, you can, pets have slippery, you ladies could send your pets out to do some do some work. But Jugami can't damage. What do you mean? You can't damage the big boy, but you've got, Ivy, you have three actions left? Mm -hmm. You could send your dragon out. Oh, he could actually just breathe his little breath weapon on her. You wanna just do that? Yeah, I also kinda wanna get him away from here. So okay. That what, if I die, he can. Like, Why don't you fly coughs? him here and then he can shoot his breath weapon out the door? Yeah. He accidentally coughs. Now, this would be bad, though, because the wolves are going to run by and kill him. Never mind. So you could fly even further back if you want. <laughs> yep. The zombies aren't going to come pouring out. You guys are down there. But the, can he break you kind of need this guy to soak a hit just in case. No, sadly, he cannot open the door. I think Drugami can open doors. No? No, Drugami can't open doors either. Then I walk into Orange and lose my familiar. No. Look, I love, your life. I love familiars, but let's be real. The be Yeah. yeah At the end of the day, they gotta take the hit. That's part of the job. The Secret Service. Yeah. They all got little black suits on. Somebody get me the orange. <laughs> Dark sunglasses. <laughs> Earpiece. Yeah. All of them. Even Sweet Baby. Somebody Even get Squiddy me the, the Pimp. Orange. It's old school. Sweet baby, Sweet especially. Somebody get me to orange. Can we ever figure out why Sweet Baby hang it? Somebody get me to orange so I can no, use I'm sure it's very sinister. Though. <laughs> All right, so Ivy, is your plan to lob a fireball at these guys? Yeah. Just roll three dice and try to light them up. <laughs> Just light them up. Sweet, ba ba Sweet baby's fireball ba sit ba ba on it, three or higher. <laughs> Two. So you killed this one and this one. Okay, two is, more experience points. Was this your order, man? Fifteen more hours. All right, your turn. Does Drugami want to tear some stuff up? Yeah. Drugami moves three zones per movement and has slippery. So what do you want to do? 
Also, Drugami gives you plus one dice to your attack, so you are really rolling four dice to your attack. It's not your turn, what would you like? Hmm? Alex, can you pass me dessert menu wherever it went? It's on the fridge. Oh, you sure I take it off the fridge? Let's see. All right, what's the plan? Get you out. Just want to grab me out to whoop some uh, wolf butt over here. Whack it on. That wouldn't make much sense considering she's a cat. No, you don't have slippers. Okay. Though. Chocolate M and M sundae. That's what Alex ordered. With sprinkles. So gonna, do you want to run Dragami out to get wolves or fatties? It's or? the exact same thing that I had. <laughs> and some brownie. <laughs> With brownie. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. Yeah, yeah. Sprinkles. Yeah. And three. And whipped cream. And then you could attack twice, mm -hmm. and then you can run back if you want. That's a good one. Alright, roll like two dice. Please pass that to Wesley. He hits on a four or higher, you can kill it. Actually, he rolls three dice, so roll six dice. <laughs> really? One. Sorry if we spelled it's your name three. wrong. Four. Five. Hello. Oh. Hello, person who orders a random roll. What would you like for dessert? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ready? Get, uh, Six can the camera see uh, just how bad of a situation we're in? Um, well, just in a second. They really need to see just how bad it is. <laughs> okay. Can I get a taco After I roll. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> four. Kill four of your choice. And we kill all four wolves. No, and then, the, then he runs back to the party. Wait, she doesn't want to kill the fatty? Yeah. Well, I guess the wolves are more dangerous. The wolves were real. How problem. much experience is that? These guys can move more. Like one. You did get a free candy golden game. Mm. I would like How many experiences is the bowls for? One each, yeah. With chocolate okay. syrup, uh -huh. whipped cream, one, two, three, chocolate ice cream. Brownie, chocolate ice cream. I don't write that. And if you have M and M's, I definitely like some M and M's in there. I don't know if we have enough M and M's for you guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chocolate, ice cream, M and M's, whipped cream. We got chocolate sprinkles too. But I don't want chocolate sprinkles. Whipped cream. Sprinkles? No thanks. Sprinkles. Okay. Sprinkles. Is this correct? That sounds good. What about chocolate syrup? Actually, you know what? Can you crush up some butterfingers in there? Sure. Right. This man's going off menu. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. This is not a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing a substitution. <laughs> no substitutions, please, sir. <laughs> Butterfinger crush. Does this look like your order? Yes, that looks great. Alex, want to help me make them? It's not your turn. All right. Beliria. She just murdered everything and then walked away. What do you want to do? If you, I don't have much of a choice. I guess like, you gotta fight. I'll kill those. If you inferno, you'll nuke. Spirit <laughs> out of existence. If you switch here with me, I or was there only four? Can run back there and try to save everybody. And you can go in there and get the XP. He can switch. And get your sword, uh, you. and then That's chop up those two. Yeah. Okay, you want to yeah. trade gear with me? You get two short swords. Well, here he has one. I already have one. He just no. needs the second All right. one. And then easy. you give me Repulse and Inferno. Yeah, this is the hard part. Find so that's one action. Now two, you got to attack those dudes. And it's two wolves, not wolves. Yep. Yeah. You got yep, it. Yep, them both. And now for the third action... I'm gonna start running. You could go up into the room if you want, because yep. we gotta grab that token. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you go over there. And that gave you two experience for killing those two. Yep, yeah, so that will put you into yellow on your next turn. Give you your next turn. Which will help you catch up with the rest of the party. Yeah. Excellent. Setiel. You've got to throw down the juice. So I have to switch and put it on? Oh, guess what? Mm hmm. You gotta switch to put it in, and then spend an action to throw it. It's very inefficient. Switch, throw it, then switch back? Yeah. You just lay it down on the... I do have a tile for it, but I guess we could put it out. It's gross. I just hmm? Can I shoot? I can shoot a melee out of... I guess it's... Dad! Steven stayed up fast! Dad! 
Oh yeah! yeah. EOV! <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm the hero to everyone. But if you're, serious, if you're serious about what you said earlier, you should go donate $10. <laughs> $10? But you don't $10. have to if you don't want to. Right. Yes, you have to. No, there you go. Bet. Bet on it. Actually, that sounds good. Not in yet. Yeah. But it will be. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would right. you like large, medium, or small, Steven? Please don't say large. Medium. <laughs> 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 the sound, of a, sound of a broken man. We don't have enough m ms because you couldn't order large. Mm. I said, who wants peanut right. m ms I'll take peanut m ms okay. So the set deal's done. Like the trap is laid. Yeah. You got it. Muriel's turn. I, I'm sure he's She's going to go one, two, She's only got, damn, she's only got three. Three. On the next turn, she will go out. Ready? Right. She'll repulse everybody onto that space, and then we'll blow everybody up. Would you like small or medium? Uh, oh, you right. have Are you medium? You have Inferno. Can you hit out that door? Small or medium? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could hit right from there, but I want to be able to repulse, and I can't see them. So my next turn, I'll have to <laughs> step into the street. Two, three. Yeah. All right. Sleepy Wesley, can you try to tilt the camera a little bit so we can capture that section of the board? Whoa, whoa, all over the place. <laughs> oh, there, we can see it. There, there, there. All right, oh, it tilts it back. I'm glad that you guys didn't say small. This is the size of small. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that a small? Is that ice cream for ants? <laughs> it's a baby sampler. That's what they call it. Here, I can see from this. you like animal. a sample? Oh jeez, <laughs> that's just wiggling around with that camera. Oh. Ooh. And they died. Yeah, it was only the peanut M&Ms in this book. Oh, the cords yeah. are not long enough. Or the M&Ms. I think the M&Ms got crushed. Too much. And then we got crushed. Oh, oh, we're making everybody seasick. <laughs> there we go. No pressure. Those are so here, you can see the abomination. <laughs> Here, you can see the dragon mile. Here, you can see we're dancing with this big werewolf dude. Way back here, you can't see, he's off camera. The boss of all the werewolves getting ready to run up to us. It's gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. It's gonna go really well. <laughs> we got a plan. It's gonna fail, but we got a plan. So that is the end of the good guy's turn. It is bad guy's turn. Deal with this werewolf. Three wounds being dealt to Daenerys, Lini, their tiny animal friends, and Setiel. Each of them has taken one damage already? No. She's taken one damage already. So she takes another. Daenerys takes one. Setiel takes one. Then the boss of all werewolves. One, two, three. He joins the fray. <laughs> so good. And then the Abunbun Nation, okay. death in one hit, joins the party. Then this guy shows up. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, how's it going? Who Wait, he said that in zombie language? <laughs> now that could be problematic. You can repulse twice, okay? Oh, once per turn. Hmm. Oh, that is problematic. Not nah, because we can save you before we'll they get their we'll turn. Make it happen. We'll make it happen. <laughs> so Wait, who's first? But sadly, Leany is first. I don't go until. So we're all gonna use our turn. Nearly the before. end. Hmm. You're running. Well, if you have four actions, you can move out of the space. Yeah. Yeah. You spend all four to get out of the space. Has it been my turn yet? It is not. We have to spawn bad guys. We are on yellow. We're spawning at the ivy spawn point. Three archers. We got them right here. Those are just what we did not need. Uh, Wolfsburg was known for its ranges. Thank you for your honesty. Now, in the Alex spawn point, two wolfies. We got wolves right here. Wolves right here. We're doing a good job. Wait, are we summoning wolf? No, those are just runners. Okay. And then at the Wesley spawn point, two dead eye walkers. Or sorry, dead eye, yeah, dead eye walkers. So two archers. What? Alright. Not bad. 
Not bad. Not bad. Leany, you are starting things off. She can You're use... You're deflecting daggers of no use against these abominations. She can use her slippery person to slip out and kill those two zombies outside your door. Mmm, that would help me a lot. Yeah. Hey, Alex, can you send Drugami to kill the two dudes in front of the door? Which one? We're sacrificing all our familiars okay. to save the world. Oh, no. He jumps over Actually... Everybody. Yeah, that should work. But Jirami's oh, actually fast biology? and strong enough. He could take out the wolves, which would be the, the real threat. But you can't take out the fatty. He jumps over the well, dragon's yeah. fire. I can. I got Inferno. Mm -hmm. I just throw it at the ground. Well, do you have enough? He, he jumps Maybe. over the dragon's fire. Yeah, once you kill the leaders, you're yeah. going to shoot up. So go take out those wolves, Jirami. Oh. The wolves. You pounce just like that tiger from yeah. the Roses and Dragons. <laughs> All right. The tiger that dismantled my beautiful six boss. Six dice? Do that. Six, six, six dice. Why are tigers so overpowered? Mm -hmm. Hopefully she's going to rip these guys to pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that, Drugami. You killed all of them. <laughs> Four experience points for your master. How many? Four. And then Dragami can run back to his, his master if he wants. Sixteen. Three more and I'm in orange. He's like, why didn't I agree All right. to sing this song? Billy Idiot. Take off this knife. Five baby. Yeah. Right. So can you put like only Now you could, you could dash back to the rest of us or you could casually search. But you have three more actions. So you could go one, two, three to get to here. And we do have or to exit all one, together. two, and then search here, but we kind of need you back with the party. And we still have one last exit. Oh, so he can come here. Stop it, that fly keeps falling down. He can come oh, here and try to open that door. What? He can come here and try to open yeah, that door. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but what think about what Valeria would do. Here, you're going to get fired. She'd take a nap. She'd probably search. Yeah. Or take a nap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm gonna I don't know if Zom said it's time for your role play, so. <laughs> I want to live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so. All right, moving to there. Yeah, I guess, like, do I have enough action? No. Well, oh, I got another action. I know. And there's one to pick it up, oh, yeah. and then one, two, three gets you right there. Okay. Set to yell. Not much left to do. Total is That's all you Um, can I, can you shoot out of a? Yes. So I can switch to my bow and then Yeah, if you wanted to. What's the range of the bow, zero to one? Yeah. So you can switch to your bow and shoot that one walker who's going to get blown up. Anyways. So I don't really have nothing better to do with my time. Okay. So I'll switch to the bow. I'll fire once. Here you go. That's what they look like. You got the less enthusiastic yeah. one. Fire twice. <laughs> got him. Yeah, Alright, got him. One and more experience back. point. And switch back. <laughs> the sound of the ice cream parlor in full action. You should ask for queso on my Sunday. No, you should. I was gonna recommend the, the well, cocktail fingers. Oh, I didn't have the soup of the marathon yet. Oh, that's true. That's my two a.m. Yes. Yeah. Wait, that's my time travel. <laughs> Does anybody want like butterscotch on their Sunday? Well, you know, butterscotch would taste good with the butter fingers. That was a little yeah. I'm sorry. You want you to pass it back? Hmm? Put butterscotch on there. Don't be sad. Okay. okay. All right. I'll take butterscotch on mine. All right. Get the Steven, would you? No, thank you. All right. Let's do this I'll thing. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Muriel steps out into the street. Hey -oh. She repulses. Ooh, no. I'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> when she All three abominations onto the dragon's fire, and then house rule: Here. lose your mind over it, internet. Deal with it. We're what? gonna inferno, blow it up. Wait, did they kill the abomination? We killed everything in the world. How much experience is that? It's only fifteen. Is the abomination? Only. <laughs> yes. That puts her at twenty, which sadly puts us in orange. So she gains the extra action, and now she can either take an extra spell or an extra she melee. Take a spell since she's spell. holding Inverno. Right. And she can nuke the space she's on. So technically, she has three more actions if she uses a spell. Okay. Yeah, so she can nuke the ground and right, so she throws a uh, Inferno right at the ground where she's standing. Four dice. Let's see if it works. That kills both. 
<laughs> Two more experiences. What do you do with that? <laughs> I have a cancer friend, though, the hard job. And then she has two more actions. So she will. If she stands there, she'll get shot. So she's going to go. Ooh, we got to get that door there, open. Shot. I I get that door open. How many spaces can she find? She could stand here and try to kill them. But if she doesn't You're kill them... You're going to get some Butterfinger Sheddings. Okay, that's fine. They were way too hard. She's going to go back and rejoin her teammate. Come on. She can go one and search. Ooh, she's going to murder this uh, We're um, calling a Butterfinger. Is <laughs> it a Butterfinger? No, I'm going to go here. That actually sounds very vicious. Okay. With a Butterfinger? And that's With the end? No. Daenerys, it's your turn. You could go. I'll keep mauling this Butterfinger. You could go <laughs> okay. one, two, three and try to kill those wolves. Kind of crazy. That's a very break in. You could go one, two, and try to kill those, but then the wolves will kill you. You could go one, two, three, and re and join up with this group if you want. And the wolves won't kill me. Uh, you could go one, two, three, and search, and then you have a decision that could go either way. One, two, three, and search. All right. You find plenty of bolts. Oh, come on. Yeah, at this, oh, I at this point, it. it's not that great. Okay, and, and that is the end of our turn. You had four actions. You went one, two, three, and searched. All right, these guys move one. Wolves move three. They end up on top of these two. Can I mold the butterfly? One, two, three. It might look a little like wood sheddings, but we promise it's not. Okay. 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 I believe you. You would never feed me sawdust. <laughs> All right, let's spawn. Oh, these that's guys. That's the stuff mealworms crawl around in. Trust me, I have two lizards. Mm. Okay, it's getting a little rough. Let's spawn some dudes. A little? They're orange dudes now. Oh. In the <gasps> ivy spawn point, we have three more Can I wolves. Kill those two wolves. So three wolves, Where right here. Yeah, I was doing that. At the Alex spawn point, we have five walkers. Do we have any walkers? I got two walkers over here. Got one. Four walkers. Five walkers. Okay. And that's the Wesley spawn point. It's a double spawn for next time. That means this spawn point or a room that has opened this turn will have a double spawn on orange. But we still need to get these doors open. So time is of the essence now because that orange spawn is going to build real fast. Yeah. Okay. Coin passes to Billy. What's the plan? I guess I can kick down the door. Okay. And that'll draw them in. Then you can run out. Well, yeah, he's got Inferno. Yeah. He makes things die. Yeah. And so he's if you can open it. the door's right in front of that spawn point. Yeah, so if you can open him. Yeah, I'm going to try kicking the door. All right. And two rolls, right? Maybe we should try to kick this door open because it's like closer to that. See, we just go one, two to the door instead of one, two, three, four to the door. I was thinking kick it open. Mm-hmm. Well, it's open, and then somebody can run around. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but it'd probably take more time. Yeah, it's the same distance, isn't it? Cause nah, because this is a Oh, because it's a big space. room. Yeah. yeah, open that door. All right. So get two? No, just, just one. Just try one at a time. Nope. 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 One more action. You want to search or try to op or oh, open the door? This ice cream or um, I'd rather just open the door open. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. got it. <laughs> All right. Sectiel, you're up, but there's two wolves in your space. I don't even know with three wolves getting ready to go into your space. Mm -hmm. Archers and a bunch of zombies. Yes. 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 So I'll attack the wolves. With, with swords. Alright. <laughs> Nothing. Attack again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing again. Attack again. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. I'm gonna put these away. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> One more action left, so you're gonna have wolves all over you again. Well, she, she did. And two. Got him. Oh, no, I got one. You got one. Oh my gosh. That's rough. Okay. <laughs> I really want to get that last door open. 
All right, uh, Muriel's turn. Grab, you got the door open. She's gonna go sprinkles. one, two, sprinkles. spellcaster. Lucas sprinkles. <laughs> gonna try to kill those. Got it. I always need you around to keep me not tired. And then she's got two <laughs> more actions. She's gonna go. Oh, I can't open the door with either of these. Why not? Your first was a spellcaster action. Yeah, but I'm saying I have to switch oh, to a sword. Yeah. So do I want repulse? Ooh, I could go here and repulse that wolf out of your space. Then you'd have to walk through it to get to For what it's worth. Oh, I'll move it here. Yep, that'll work. Okay. But then Yeah, except now we can't attack it. And it'll hit us twice. It'd be easier for her just to kill it. Okay, so we'll leave it alone. Yeah. So there's nothing I can do to help you. Nope. Alright, so maybe I should move into the space, huh? Move into the space. And switch to short sword? Yeah. Mm. Well, if you keep repulse, if one comes up here, you can knock it out of the way. He can still try to open the door next turn. Yeah. Okay. That's so I'll just stay there on guard. How's that sound? Alright. Okay. Uh, Daenerys, queen of ice cream. It is your turn. I'm the queen of dragons! Uh, you could. You could try to help them out with the wolves. Or start heading towards that door to get that door busted open. Yeah, she could walk out. It'd be risky. Wolf. One, two, three, four to open the door. But you do have five zombies that are going to try to crawl on you. She could take two and then. But we have the drawn a lot of the extra activation cards already, so there's a good chance that we won't get an extra activation for walkers. But if we do, then you would die. <laughs> I would go here and try to kill that guy with the dragon's breath. Alright. Okay. Or you could be more aggressive. You could move the dragon into the space and try to melee the. Okay. Yeah, we could do. You want to do that? Can yeah, because she can still finish it up if it doesn't. Yeah. Can I just cough a fire? Uh, it's kind of a tough spot. No, like you said, if uh, she or, puts the dragon or in there and melee. You could come open the door. You want to come open this door? Yeah, sure. Okay. One, two. All right, you got two chances to open the Hammer? door. Hammer? Hammer. <laughs> Four or higher. With sadly. You're going to use Alex's lucky die. <gasps> really? You should. All right. Two four or higher. Or four dice. Just one. What? One single die to open this door. Oh. Opening door is the hardest thing you'll ever do in Zombicide. Two. Oh, you going to use your last attempt? Yes! <laughs> the door swings open and a double spawn is waiting inside. Oh this may not have been our wisest decision, yeah. actually. <laughs> well, Valeria hasn't gone yet, right? Valeria's, uh, no. Valeria's, Valeria's already, already gone. gone. She started it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah Valeria went first. This if this is a bad, if this is a wolf or a runner, we're dead. Yep. Alright, maybe we should take that back. <laughs> In front of the whole world. <laughs> Are you going to do it, Bear? Alright, it is what it is. Oh god. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. We're, we're dead. All that hard work to get gunned down. Okay, we'll take it back and then finish the game. By five dead eye walkers. Oh, yeah. Shooting us in the face. Dad? Yeah? I don't know if you're going to be able to eat this. Womp womp. I guess that's it. Because that's enough to kill all of us. Well, if one person dies, we lose. Yeah. Dad, it's called the Dungeon thank you. Master size. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Look at that. I made a Sadly, bottle on Sundays, and you guys all ordered the same thing. Sadly, we were over eager, and we just lost the whole thing, guys. Because we just opened a door that contained six walkers and five dead eye walkers. That means five arrow shots right out the door into our grill. We have nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. That is sad. Six walkers? That's the, hey, you don't have to put them out. We didn't make it. <laughs> After everything we did to take out the three abominations, we lost it there at the end. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> only time. We gotta play only time. Oh, uh, all right. I guess that's that. Yeah. So that's that. No, I'm sorry. I mean, it was a bad scene. I wasn't thinking about the Dead Eye Walkers. Because any runners would have been wolves. Oh, wolves would have been wolves. That's archers. Like... No, the runners aren't wolves anymore. The Alpha's dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dead. The Alpha's dead. 
Liner's gonna kill this too. Yeah, yeah. Walker's probably or sunk. Good. I thought I thought Valyria hadn't gone yet. Nope. Her runner's the only summon some one. Yeah. Dun, 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 All right. What would have That's spawned? That. Dun, That's it. Dun, That's what spawned. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's kind of a bummer. Yep. You're waiting for me to lose. Something. Made it pretty dang far. Pretty dang far. <laughs> I don't know what we could have done different. Because if we had delayed, the spawn point would have spawned said walkers and. Uh, yeah, it would have spawned all that on top there. of you guys. You would have had. would have been over there. Yeah, 11 dudes right there. I don't know. I <laughs> need top the blueberry. I don't know. We're good. I got a blueberry on top of my ice cream. All right. No, it's healthy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fruit. a fruit. It's for a yeah, fruit. It's a, a, a serving of fruit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> she just throws it on the side. All right. I guess we're going to have to uh, call it defeat. Sorry, guys. The red letter. <laughs> Agony of defeat. Wasted. <laughs> oh. That is the end. We're going to go ahead and end this uh, stream. We will start it back up with the next game. We're not sure what the next game is going to be. We might be switching over to Vigima games. Or Mechs and Minions. We're getting pretty tired. Uh, Mechs and Minions, we're all pretty tired. Here. We may, want, we may have a Mechs and Minions night. We might even stream Mechs and Minions night. Who knows? All right. I'm going to stop it for now.